What's going on, everybody? Here and welcome back to some more Planet Crafter. So today we uh, we got a few things. We need to work on some more automation here, and we need to go check out what this last door has to offer because we've got to know. I think it's the last door. I don't know. Things usually come in threes, you know, like one, two, three, like right. So um, we're gonna, well, actually, it can't be the last door because we saw some other things that had. Um, that didn't have codes or whatever for him so i don't know anyways i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna grab these three and we are gonna start off the episode by going and checking out what a um another door is and then what i want to do is i want to come back and i want to get some automation going so again i'm still waiting oh my gosh i'm still waiting on getting this guy unlocked 38.33 on the uh the orc structure tier three which will allow us to select what we want so maybe we'll get that going this episode i don't know we'll see um but First, before we do anything, if you, you know what, if you, are you, you need a little bit of luck today, maybe maybe you leaving a like on the video and subscribing will give you some more luck. Maybe it won't, but maybe it will. So don't take the chance. Get the extra luck if you can. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Um, I saved coordinates. All right, 1565-109. So let's see, um, straight north. is gonna take us the right way and then 109 east okay so we gotta go northeast uh you know what let's actually let's drop our iron grab some food and water and then we'll take it with us and we'll be good so you know in all actuality 1565 oh 2500 is the last number holy moly okay that's way over here <laughs> Um, wow, it's actually almost straight over. Maybe it's in this area? And then it's 109 up. Okay, all right, this is gonna be interesting. Must be over in this deserty, um, this area over here. Weird. Um, okay, so we're over here in this area. It's gotta be up there. Because it said it was at 109 for the altitude. Uh, it's gotta be in this rock formation here somewhere. Like, it's, it's definitely gotta be, like, right in here. Let's see, what do we got? What do we got? Oh, well. Uh. 108, 109. Am I, hold on, am I in the right area? I feel like I am. 1565, which is roughly right here. <gasps> we found it. We found it. Is it, what's gonna happen? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try it. Open warden's altar. Oh my gosh, it requires all three. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's it, the whole rock is going down. What is happening? What is gonna be behind there? You know, I like how all three of these things like went together like this. New blueprint received mutagen tier two. Oh, what's gonna be back here? What's gonna be back here? I have no idea. Oh, it unlocked a super secret way. Okay, okay, we got more pillars. We got more pillars. Oh, it's all lush back here. Now, is it lush? No, these trees look like they were placed here. Or, well, they were supposed to grow here anyways. Oh, I can't fly anymore. Okay, jetpack is disabled. Oh, oh my god, it's like a little oasis. It's an oasis. You know, this, oh my gosh, this is super cool. Oh, lost paradise. Achievement unlocked, lost paradise. Oh. <gasps> Oh my gosh! No way! Oh my god! Look at the size of this thing! It's insane! It is so huge! <gasps> There's a thing there too. Oh my gosh. This looks like there are steps going up here. 
Lost Paradise. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. And it's like all overgrown. Now it's so it's so weird because it's like, okay, was this stuff overgrown? Or did like it overgrow since I started terraforming it? You know, like I would love to try to come back here before uh the trees and stuff like that and like water and just see like what this looked like before. Cause like if it looked like this too, that'd be crazy. Um, all right. I'm gonna try to snag this thing. Does it say anything? It doesn't say anything. This is insane. This is so cool. All right. Um, so I guess the first thing we do is let's just go straight up the steps to start with. <gasps> oh, one, two, we need four more. Okay. Once we lived. What? No way. Okay. All right. So I'm going to guess we have to do a little bit of parkour action here uh, in order to get everything that we want. So let's, let's go ahead and let's do that. Let's do a little bit of parkour, which I, I, I guess is probably why the jetpack doesn't work. Cause otherwise it wouldn't be any, oh, hold on, there's something in there. Make sure I'm making sure none of these have coordinates on them. Oh, this is <laughs> just another way up. Okay. It's kind of interesting because like there's all this scout. So like what what it, what I find really interesting here is there's like all of this scaffolding stuff, right? And it's all leading to like up and up here and up there, you know, and stuff like that. But it's like the scaffolding wouldn't have been done by the same civilization that built the building. Because the people that built the building would have built stairs going up to the different levels, you know? And they probably wouldn't have built a water wheel like that. They probably would have built something a little bit more magnificent. I mean, like, look at the building style here. So it's almost like there was two different species here, or two different people. There was the first people who built the actual structures, the mega structures, which are absolutely gorgeous. And then there was the secondary people who tried to live within these structures. And, like, you know, over time, like, things caved in, you know? So they had to build, like, these wooden ramps to get from, like... Um, you know the top of one thing to the top of the other or something like that So that's what I'm thinking, but I'm not sure cuz like it sounds like these the masons people like mason people like it sounds like they knew what the heck they were doing so and Also, I am gonna say that um, I Feel as though the mason people were very tall because if you look at these railings like if I'm a normal sized human, this is really high. Like that's a really tall wall right there. Um, what's the deal here? Not sure what the deal is with that, that one right there. All right, let's get up here and let's see if we can't find more, more pieces. Yeah. I feel like they're really tall. Oh, there's a vine there. Okay. Hold on. Let me, let me go around and look in here. Make sure we're not missing anything. This place is super cool. All right, I don't see anything, so let's go ahead and climb it. You know what? I wonder if... If we can find this place before the terraforming, but if we don't have a certain pri like a certain spot, you know? These vines wouldn't be here, so we wouldn't be able to do it. Um, I wonder... I wonder if that's the deal. So, like, you have to... You have to... <gasps> and I bet in order to have water going, you probably have to have, in order to have the water wheel going, you probably have to have um, the ice melted or whatever. Oh, this is cool. This is super cool. Okay, so what do I do from here? See, I don't really see anything from here. Whoa. Okay. All right. Um, so we don't, we're not going that way. <laughs> I guess we're going. Why does it want me to jump right here? Ow. There was even a crunchy sound. It just, it felt like I had to jump right there. Okay. Uh, okay. We're good. We're fine. <laughs> okay. So we've got what? Two more of the keys. Let's go ahead and drop those off. One and two. So we need two more keys. Okay, let's go over here and find it. This area is super cool. I would love to be able to like, go inside and like build a base in here and like make this like our main base place. That'd be oh, there's one right here. Ah, huh? that would be super cool. Okay, so there's one. Now, 
I'm gonna say let's go this way there's also that way back there too we're gonna have to definitely explore all of this I mean it seems like there's a lot to explore but there's also kind of like not a lot to explore because a lot of it's cut off um like you know blocked off there's no way into anything to like explore the inside and we don't have a jetpack like our jetpack is just not enabled right now so like I can't there's a lot of things I would be able to jump over but I can't okay oh here's the other one okay um you know what let's go explore that one first before we activate this this door this door has got to be like the last door now i'm actually like i'm super curious because like <laughs> i feel like there is a lot of lore here and i feel like there's a lot of story here and i know the game's not complete <laughs> so like I'm, I'm definitely interested to see like what we're gonna find out here and what's gonna be in like the final like 1.0 kind of thing you know so let's check this out see if there is anything even here um okay they're not there's not really oh they're, they're kind of is no there's not real I don't think there is I think it's broken I don't see okay yeah let's let's activate the door everybody's waiting for it. I know you're all waiting for it let's do it uh this water is also a super amazingly clear and drinkable Uh, do we explore around up there? I didn't see anything. Oh, that's where we got... Okay, so that's where we got the thing. I thought that was a golden chest at first. But those are where we got the, um, the keys from. Okay, we've got five keys total here. Oh my gosh. I'm scared. What if it lets out, like, a rabbit cheetah or something like that that hasn't eaten in years? Centuries. And it's hungry. It's like, finally... You have come to fill my stomach. It's like, no! Game over. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, this is wild. Okay. Okay. <gasps> There's golden chests in here. There's golden butterflies. Get out of here. No way. There's golden butterflies. All right, let's read the tablet. Once again, a calamity befalls our people. If the predictions are correct, the meteor will hit the planet in just a few days. The cities we built, the splendors we made will fall. Our arts, traditions, discoveries, and lives will vanish once again the destruction is upon us but this time we will not flee as we did generations ago what is the point of running away when demise chase you so vigorously our fate is accepted being proud of what we were stay true to our values our story will disappear under the ashes and flames of dust like a butterfly life beautiful and evanescent it's time to meet our end wow golden butterflies i i feel like there's is there going to be a golden larva <gasps> 1500 percent i will take it oh my god tell me there's another one there's another one oh if you could breed butterflies oh, oh, oh if we could breed butterflies that would be so amazing um i'm gonna deconstruct these <laughs> i'm gonna take you and then take you oh my gosh we have two golden butterflies golden larvas baby oh that is so nice that's gonna be huge uh well i think it's gonna be huge that is super cool like it's also super sad it's also like a super sad story like they did everything and then they're just like well all right we're just gonna die i just i can't even imagine like i just can't even imagine like they already had the spaceship underground they were ready to go well maybe they, maybe they didn't have fuel maybe they just maybe they just couldn't do it maybe they didn't have time like four days wasn't enough to get it up and running i don't know 
I feel like if an entire civilization was depending on it happening, I feel like people would have worked together and made it happen. Unless everybody just, you know, went into chaos and like killed each other and stuff like that. Well, let's not talk about that. Oh my gosh. That is super. That is super cool. I am, uh, I'm very surprised. I wasn't expecting any of that. That's very neat. Um, I'm actually kind of curious too, if like, I, is, is that it for lore? Or are we gonna get 1.0? Are we gonna get some other little nuggets of stuff? I don't know. That's kind of cool. And you know what else is kind of neat? Uh, is that this was lore over this, this, just this one specific thing. We are still missing the lore over like why we're here and what's going on with us currently. So uh, yeah, that's also like, we've also got like that bit of lore still too, but this was beyond cool and i'm not gonna lie i i this kind of this kind of lore and this kind of like stuff like that i would not have expected until like a 1.0 launch um so the fact that they gave us to it us early was is pretty cool that's pretty awesome so all right let's head back uh let's see what's in here and oh i want that tier too you know what i don't really need these but i'll take those and that and that's good okay so yeah very 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 cool um but we've got uh man we've got a lot of building to do we've got a lot of automation to do there's all kinds of things to do so we're gonna head back to the base i want to check out these golden butterflies oh i wish we could i wish we could breed them i wish we could like breed them and then that would just be so cool get more of them <laughs> make more butterflies that'd be so cool so you know as i was flying back here i, I also got thinking of something else um so this game has just like exponential potential <laughs> like there's just so much that this game could become and it could do and like with updates over time and stuff um is when we found that sphere that glowing sphere that um basically drained the energy out of any ships coming nearby i wonder if that caused us to like crash land because like we kind of crashed you know with our, like our pod or if it's still up and active and like at some point we would have to disable it you know uh in order to allow for other humankind to come come around and, and you know hang out but uh okay hold on i got to let me just eat or drink something um i'll eat that i'm gonna take you i'm gonna put you in here golden butterflies oh my gosh that is so cool they're making 1.13 kilograms per second. That one farm is making that much. 1.13 per second. That is a huge bonus. Oh my gosh. Can we actually, um, hold on. Can we see the, can we actually see our stuff moving now a little bit? Because we're trying to get the drill tier five. Oh, we're at 7.1 now. Holy moly, we're at 7.1. That's actually awesome. But we're like way, way off of 29, uh, 29 kilotons. Oh my gosh, that's super cool. All right. Very neat. Very cool indeed. Uh, there is a tree going through my base. That's fine. So let's go ahead and let's take a peek at our overall stuff going on here. How's this looking? Pressure 38.33. That's what we need for our ore extractor tier three. Once this... Once we get this ore extractor right there, that is going to increase um, everything exponentially. Like everything is just going to be so much better because of that. So uh, we're going to do absolutely everything we can to get those ore extractors up. I'm going to spare no resource. I will deconstruct stuff if I have to. We'll make it happen. We will make it happen. It will happen. I promise. Um, but other things I want to do is I actually want to go out on a quartzite collecting expedition because i have some ideas for the future that i would like to um we're gonna need pulsar quartz for so i'd like to try to go out and find some more pulsar quartz because with updates sometimes we get pulsar quartz back and stuff like that so uh they're handy handy okay i'm trying to get i gotta get my inventory cleared out here okay so i cleared my inventory out let's go do a quick peek and let's try to find some pulsar quartz here like I said, it's because uh, it's because I need more teleporters. Um, I really like teleporters and how they work, but I, I just don't have enough of them, to be honest. Like, I, I just don't. Um, so we're going to actually head over here. We're going to head to the balcony area. And we're going to go into this mine here. But the reason I want all these teleporters is because what I've been doing is having one centralized base. 
and I think what I need to do is actually have multiple bases with specific functionality for each one, if that makes any sense. So like one base is going to be, uh, oh, this is a zeolite cave. We need to set a miner down here. Um, so like different bases are going to be set for different things. And that's kind of what we're going to do. Zeolite, interesting. In a cave with water that we could drink. How deep is this water? Holy moly. Huh. Okay, this isn't exactly what I was looking for. I was looking for the pulsar quartz mine. Uh, but this is... <laughs> hey, it's here. We have zeolite. Very, very cool mine, though. Holy moly. I gotta say, like... What? What? Oh, this connects into... What? I didn't even know that connected there. Holy moly. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I was a little scared. I saw those mines at first or the the drill and I was like, wait, whoa, 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 what is this? A little, I was a little worried. Okay, so I hear oh That was probably a pulsar quartz um, Asteroid because I think those typically drop in singular asteroids And it's probably an area that we cannot even access it, right? Yeah Okay, so let's go back to the Pulsar Quartz area. So I actually needed to go this way. We're gonna try to find as much Pulsar Quartz as we can uh, because like I said, we need teleports. Oh, I see you. I see you shining bright. That might have been the only one. <laughs> that very well could have been the only one left. Oh, hello there. All right, so I, I mean, I found a total of three in there. Hey, you know what? It's three more. That's more than we had. And what is actually the crafting cost of this teleporter? So it's three pulsar quartz. Okay. That's what I thought. Uh, and we can no longer craft them if I'm if I'm not mistaken, unless they got changed. But we used used to be able to craft them and no longer craft them. So I have enough for, well, two more, uh, two more teleports, which isn't terrible. That's not bad. So, uh, but it's essentially what I was thinking is that instead of having one like super mega base, which we're going to keep this base, uh, we can have, you know, like this lake right here, we can have our algae farm, things like that. But then if we need to have like another area to focus on, you know, automating something else, we could put it wherever it's suitable for us. We can just have a teleport over there, you know? So I think that's going to be the idea. Actually, I bet you, is that full? No, but this is. Why aren't you full? Because there's no sulfur. Doesn't even look like it's tr Oh, it did. Oh, okay. It's out of sulfur. Let me go grab some sulfur. <laughs> All right. So we got some sulfur. So let's go ahead and throw this in this chest right here. That's probably going to go ahead and go to town on that. Oh, no, because it needs two eggplant. Right. Okay. Now, the other thing uh, noted with this, and um, this is because a awesome Discord member told me, is these don't have... So they have a range, as you can see, uh, with the rings, but they don't have a range up and down. <laughs> so you can stack above them as far as you like, as far as you want. You can stack just straight up, and it will still, as long as it's within this ring uh on the xy coordinate plane it'll work it doesn't matter on the z plane so kind of kind of neat kind of cool and we'll probably use that to our advantage unless it gets patched soon if it gets patched soon then then obviously we won't but uh yeah we're going to mess with that so for sure we got all kinds of things to do now so we got some pulsar we got some pulsar cards we think a lot so i think we're gonna have to wait um let's go look at these golden butterflies again because these things are just so sick oh my gosh I love the little trails that they have too. Gosh, they just look so good. Golden butterflies, baby. That is so sick. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> Absolutely love it. I wish we could get more. That'd be so super, super cool. 
Alrighty, so I think that is actually gonna end it for this episode. Next episode, we're gonna do automation stuff, um, but I don't want to jump into it right now because I want to give it like you know I want to be able to hop in, do some, do some, you know, give it some time here. So uh, next episode, we're gonna do automation, and I think I'm actually gonna redo this whole area too. I saw some comments, I saw some things, and I like what I saw. I like what I saw. So we're gonna try it. We're gonna play with some things. We're gonna see how things work. Uh, and just kind of go from there. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, all the fun things. Let let me know. Let me know what you thought about the uh, the storyline there. I thought that was pretty cool. And the golden butterflies. Come on, come on. Those are just those. They're sick. They're sick. So, uh, but yeah. Thanks again for coming out. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.